what did you make of this trade, Raz? Um, Pelicans did everything they could to get Bledsoe off the books. Um, that's basically what I got from uh, there. Let's give the let's give the full trade um, before we do. If you haven't, if you yep. if you were taking a nap for the past twelve hours on um, on Monday, July twenty sixth, and you just woke up from um, a twelve hour nap. Um, nice the Grizzlies, yeah, the Grizzlies, um, uh, minor coma. The Grizzlies, um, they picked up Jonas. Uh, no, they traded Jonas Valanciunas um, to the Pelicans for um, a first round pick. On the tenth pick, they moved up from seventeen, um, and the Grizzlies picked up uh, Stephen at the the Albatross contracts of Stephen Adams and Eric Bledsoe, <laughs> uh, and the, the Pelicans got off of those two guys. And they picked up Valentunas. So, what do you make of this trade? Uh, it's literally just getting rid of Eric Bledsoe um, for the Pelicans. I think. Um, I think the uh, Grizzlies get an opportunity to move up and take some some better talent than they would have had available to them um, as a team that kind of was in that fringe play in tournament area. Getting more talent will not hurt. Um, Steven Adams is going to be provided serviceable uh, return for Valachunas. Uh, I don't think they'll miss him that much. Um, and I think Bledsoe will either be traded or will be used, hopefully, in a, in a good said, manner. I don't I, I, like once that I know a lot of people um, shitted on the Grizzly side, but um, even they said um, Eric, Eric Bledsoe isn't expected to be on that roster. So he's either going to, I could see him ending up in somewhere like the Lakers. Um, I don't really. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like. I, I really. I wouldn't really want him around my young core. I don't think yeah. Eric Russell is is washed per se. Um, but it did seem like he was um uninterested for for large periods of the season and just kind of dog. I don't want to, you know, the famous tweet. I don't want to be here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that's. This is this. So, is I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like it kind of makes sense, but I guess just to do a quick. Uh, reset for where the Grizzlies at because the Grizzlies, like I said, the Grizzlies are um, the darlings of draft Twitter, and yep. um, you know they they have a lot of interesting pieces on on this roster, and they they have a lot of depth, which allows them to do something like that. Um, before we get to the actual, before we get to the actual trade, because um, I I see the vision for this trade for for Memphis. Um, I know Raz, this is something that we spoke about. For when we talked about the Grizzlies preseason, just about where they're going to be at um, with the rebuild. And obviously they're ahead of where anybody would have um, pro- prognosticated them um, to be over the last few years. Obviously they, they, they just missed the playoffs last year. Um, and then they, they played themselves into, um, into the playoffs this year. Yep. So, you know, they have a very high floor, um, which I don't think this trade actually, you know, changes. Um, I think the hate on Stephen Adams is probably going too far. He was never, you know, as good as people said he was in in Oklahoma City, and he's not as bad as people are making him seem right now. Yeah. Um, the fit next design was always questionable. Um, but I do think even like if you if you're if your center rotation is is uh, Stephen Adams, um, Tillman, and and Jaron Jackson Jr. That's <clears throat> I think it's a pretty strong center rotation. I do think Tillman, I mean, not, uh, uh, I do think Adams in, if you want to do the double center thing again, and I'm forgetting um, Brandon Clark, but if you want to do this, the double center thing between um, Adams and Jaron Jackson, um, we know Jaron Jackson is a floor spacer. We know he, he is, he's, he's camping out on the three point line on offense, um, which kind of leaves, you know, uh, that kind of leaves uh, Steven Adams to do what he does best. Um, yeah. And he doesn't have to really, you know, worry about uh, like him and Zion kind of occupying the same spots on the floor. So um, from from I like this trade better for for Memphis. Um, they pick up a first round pick next year as well, which, you know, that helps just, yeah, sure. continuing, continuing to stock up, moving up this year, picking up another pick to go along with. They have three picks next year. Um, I think they had. So, yeah, I, I like I like this trade for. The Grizzlies more now onto the side of the Pelicans. Um, David Griffin. Um, I know people gave him kudos for getting off of the Eric Bledsoe and and Stephen Adams contracts, but I can't. I can't give him no 
I can't give him I can't give him credit for getting off the Stephen Adams contract because first of all, you were gifted Zion Williamson to start your rebuild, my guy. Like you started off, that's a great like he came out of, you know, he took a year off, he did the ESPN shit, you know, and it's always funny to watch how guys or or like these guys who the, you can tell you can tell the people who play the media game well. You can tell you can tell the guys who you know, have the media guys in the back pocket. It's usually the guys who do TV um, and, and media guys aren't too, let's say, you know, critical of, of guys like, you know, David Griffin. So he took over, um, he took over that spot in a, in a, I mean, for considering that you were trading a generational talent in Anthony Davis and off with a clean slate and in a, in a, in a great position to do something, you can't miss with Zion. You know, it, it's just like, Great luck to be honest to go from from uh, from AD to Zion, you know what I'm saying. But um, and then your next decision that you make is to select Jackson Hayes, which yeah. you know, regardless of I, I yeah. think physically, and if we're just going off of talent, Jackson Hayes is an extremely talented big man. He has not put it all together yet. I'm not going to take the jabs at him. Um, his playing time has been. Very inconsistent throughout his career, as you usually expect for young big men. It's kind of not his fault, but like I mean, it's just it it just like it's puzzling to me that decision that they made to take <laughs> uh, that decision that they make to take um, to take Jackson Hayes after after taking Zion when you know they could have took any any uh, anybody else uh, another wing anybody would have been um, would have fit better next to their core. And put them in a better situation, um, or somebody who could actually grow with your core. Um, you know, I don't know how Jackson Hayes gets a second contract on this team. Like, he, he's gonna have to, like, he's he's basically auditioning for his next NBA team at this point. Um, and like, I mean, Jonas Valanciunas is upgrade over over Stephen Stephen Adams um, defensively. Uh, that could be a mess. It could be a, a huge mess. Um, you know, people. I think Zion is going to get to better on defense. I don't necessarily yeah. see greatness um, or or all defense or just like impact defense in in his future. Um, I think that's something to watch. Um, but he doesn't have to be an impactful defender with how good of a scorer he is. But but yeah, man. Like if I just had to grade that trade, like they got to get a um, like the Pelicans get a D plus for you because I'm not giving you credit for cleaning up a mess that you created. Nope. You don't get that's not how this works. Um, you have a generational talent. Um, Zion's don't come around, come along yearly. You know, we might not see another Zion for another 15 years, 20 years, maybe, maybe longer than that. So, like I said, um, they cleared up cap space, which okay, cool. You know, that could that could, um, if we're talking about the iteration of that team next year, it could be great for them, but. Um, for David Griffin, at least, this is him cleaning up his own mess. So, like I said, uh, he he has a lot more work to do on on this offseason. So, you know, getting getting into yeah, getting getting into what's it called? Um, the Grizzlies roster. Um, just where they at? We have uh, they got Dylan Brooks on the on the books for twelve mil. Kyle Anderson on the books for nine mil. Slow mo. Um, shout to the legend, slow mo. Uh, yeah. ja, ja Morant still. Like three years away from, from Good being, for them. <laughs> you know, max. Man, he's getting the max. Um, yep. You know, so that money hasn't kicked in yet, which is why I I, I do bang with this trade because they're just maximizing, um, as much assets as they can acquire before, um, you know, Jaren's extension kicks in and Jaws extension kicks in. 